what's good y'all welcome back today we're reacting to some more scary shit and i'm excited my homie put me on this i mean i've heard of nukes top five but he showed me this one video and now i'm hooked on this dude named hassan barbar and it's like the greatest ghost hunting shit you'll ever watch in your life shit's fucking great but original video only be down in the description we're reacting to five ghost videos that are pretty dang scary let's get into it The Old Washu Club. The Old Washu Club in Virginia City, Nevada is over 150 years old. In the wild west of Nevada in the 1860s, the club was originally a house of debauchery for super wealthy men. They would drink, gamble, and partake of the club's quote, women of the night. It is said that many of these women lost their lives at the hands of some of the more violent and intoxicated upper class patrons. Some believe that the souls of the women who passed away there still wander the Old Washu Club to this day. As for other spirits who are said to inhabit the Old Washu Club, the spirit of a 10-year-old girl named Gretchen who was trampled by a stagecoach in front of the saloon is oh also said to haunt the second floor of the Old Washu Club. And the dark and tragic history of the club doesn't end there. In 1982, a man named Scotty took his own life on the third floor of the building. Workers and visitors say that they often hear his spirit pacing back and forth on the third floor, mumbling to himself. And he's sometimes even spotted standing at the top of the club's staircase. Ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick from the popular ghost hunting channel Twin Paranormal visit the Old Washu Club to do an overnight investigation. Throughout the night, the team's equipment fails and shuts off multiple times. It's it's dead. Dead, dead. Like critical dead. How? There's no way. And they hear creepy footsteps and unexplained sounds. What? what? That? that was a cough. If it's one of the girls. Aw, oh, hell nah. Make a knock. What's that you? No way. Was that you? No, was that you? No, 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 I swear, I swear. You? Bro. Oh my god. We were standing completely still. We're gonna play your song. I could hear the no, too. We're gonna play your song. And that's just a tiny sample of all the strange sounds that they capture inside the old Washu club. Even creepier, when all the guys go into the downstairs ballroom to do a spirit box session, their static camera that's pointed at the staircase captures something downright chilling. The fuck they see? What was that? Abandoned. Abandoned? What do you mean abandoned? I can't really. This place was? Hell. You were? How are you feeling right now? Are you happy? Are you sad? A bizarre shadow figure seems to walk right up to the staircase yeah, and then just now. sort of retreats or disappears back out of sight. This is the same spot where many witnesses claim to have seen the apparition of Scotty man who took his own life in the room at the top of these very stairs. The twin paranormal team heads up those stairs to the room where Scotty passed away. That's when things take a terrifying turn. The room. The room. The room. Oh my god, dude. That just gave oh me chills. Oh my god, me too. Wait, what? Gave me chills too. Holy <laughs> what? Holy crap! Guys, something was just standing there and it, it like morphed into an orb and it Flew that way. As soon as you turned around, literally get as soon as somebody get what? Out. Get Look out! At the sign. Get turn out! Around. Look at the sign. Oh shit! No! 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 What was that? The camera. The action cam. The camera's on the ground. No! Damon! Oh my god! The action cam flew off. It said, "Get out!" Ah. Oh! No! 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 no. What the? Yo, yo, give me your camera. No, 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 no. Hey, hey guys, camera. we're not. Calm down. Calm down. You're oh, kidding. No. We didn't do anything wrong. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe this one. I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, people be staging that shit on YouTube sometimes. And I feel like sometimes people try to oversell it to, like, really make it seem real. But just overselling it, like, like simplicity with it is just, like, is what really sells it. Like, just, like, hearing some voices and shit like that and, like, seeing, like, orbs and, and that shit. Not, like, marks on the body. Because, like, it rarely happens when shit like that happens, I would think. And to just be able to, like, have it and then just put it on YouTube, I don't know. Kind of throws me off. I think it could possibly be fake, but let me know what y'all think. Look, I don't have nails, okay? Look, there's no, no way that I could have done this to myself. No f***ing way. Oh, I can hear your voice. Like, I can, I can swear you guys. Oh, Unless these are just, like, no, really good it, actors as well. Hold on. Hold on. The screen is cracked. Look, guys, no string. There's no string. This can, this is... Real, 100% real. First, Ryan sees something he can't explain on the other side of the room. The spirit box says, get out. Then one of their cameras sitting at the top of the staircase flies off its tripod, smashing the camera's screen. Then out of nowhere, River gets scratched by something on his left side. Three long scratches that go all the way from his ribs to his hip. River shows that he has no nails and wouldn't have been able to scratch himself in any way. So did the twin paranormal team capture one of the angry spirits that seemed to be stuck at the old Washu Club true. after meeting a tragic fate? Or could these seemingly violent apparitions be something more sinister? Let me know what you think. You can follow Twin Paranormal's continuing investigation of the old Washu Club over on their YouTube channel where they capture even more strange activity. Like if this shit is so staged, be sure to check they it did out. it very well. Lesson learned. But if it's not, that's some crazy Gabriel shit. Gabriel Martinez Navarro posted a very creepy video to his Facebook page that shocked thousands of viewers. In the video, Gabriel explains that he's on his way to the abandoned Benito Juarez school on a desolate road outside his hometown of Wallahuises, Mexico. He claims that he has seen a video of a small ghost hunting group who went to the long abandoned school and captured an unexplained voice that said, quote, it hurts so much. Gabriel is very skeptical of the alleged taunting and decides to go investigate the school himself in the middle of the night and all alone. Oh yeah, that nigga got balls. I probably don't Could even need me. to say this, but it did not go well. This is the school. The school of Benito Juarez. La la la, 1954. Pues ya vieron, güey. Puro pinche pedo, no hay ni madres a la ver. Ay, ay, ay. Oh! So this man went there and instantly got spooked. Hell no. Gabriel enters one of the abandoned school's classrooms. On the side of the room, there are stacks of what appear to be old rusted school desks. Suddenly, a heavy plank seems to slide down on its own before it falls hard on the concrete floor. In the entrance door, Gabriel's only way out slams shut. After gathering his courage, he slowly makes his way towards the door to leave the school grounds. That's when things get truly bizarre. Can <sighs> ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Bro, I'd be scared for my fucking life. Why would you put yourself in this position? Can somebody tell me, like, what goes through, like... Like, if you're a person that's done some some shit like this, right, and you want to go explore some shit and, and see if it's haunted, what goes through your mind? Like, how do you get to that point where you actually do it? Because I be thinking I be wanting to do it, too. But then I look at my skin and I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. So what makes people think that this is a smart idea, especially to do alone? 
why would you do this alone? Because if some shit does happen, you're scared and you're by yourself. And when you're scared, you tend to do things that aren't right for you. Like, continue to stay and not fucking leave. Did you see it? No. A sound startles Gabrielle and he turns around and on the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, oh! a face appears, sending Gabrielle running in fear. The small face appears to be that of a child, its Hell glowing nah. eyes staring at Gabrielle from the dark. So did Gabrielle actually capture the paranormal activity that he was so skeptical about? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukes.5.gmail.com. Hey, y'all got some shit, send cellar. it in to him. Realtor and single mom Ashley Kettering from Loveland, Colorado usually posts videos about her experiences as a realtor. But one night on November 12th, while she and her five-year-old were fast asleep in bed, Ashley got a movement notification from her living room security camera. When she checks the footage, she is shocked. Who the fuck is that? Now, Ashley Kettering claims that she has no pets and therefore has no clue what the strange figure creeping from her basement could be. She also explains that her basement windows have sensors on them, so nothing or no one could have gotten inside without her knowing. Concerned mm. viewers on TikTok ask Ashley to move her camera to film down the basement stairs. When she does, she captures something absolutely horrifying. Nigga, you got me fucked up. I'm out. I'm moving. Again, a small moving. unexplained figure seems Any to creep around moving. the bottom of the basement stairs. Due to digital compression, it's pretty hard to tell exactly what the figure could be. So what did Ashley catch on her basement stairs? Is it something paranormal? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. And people who have time to pull Being hoaxes shadowed. off. Shout out to y'all. Paranormal investigators Kevin and cameraman Fabio from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto explore a cemetery in Mexico where mostly children are buried. The graveyard's caretaker believes the cemetery to be extremely haunted. He says that he's only worked at the children's graveyard for two years, but in that time, he claims he's heard voices and has seen the ghosts of children playfully running around the gravestones. As host Kevin is telling the caretaker's creepy story, he and cameraman Fabio are interrupted. Él ya lleva aproximadamente dos años trabajando en este lugar y nos cuenta que en todo este tiempo ha tenido manifestaciones, incluso en donde él duerme. Nos comentaba que le han bajado. ¿Qué pasó? No sé, güey, no mames. ¿Se escuchó? Sí. I heard something. Fue como un quejido. Sí. As Kevin is right in the middle of telling the story about the cemetery's caretaker, a child's faint moan can be heard right behind cameraman Fabio. Fabio quickly turns around, but there's no one there. That seemed too Kevin authentic. Kevin begins to, to ask be questions directed at the child spirit that might be following them, and the strange activity begins to intensify. Niño. Si quieres jugar. Oh, no, nah, bro. Wey. A tu lado, a tu costado. Sí. Hacia allá se escuchó, güey. Se escuchó hacia allá. No bro. mames, cabrón. Dude. Otra risa. Fue otra risa, güey. Even though he's a bit spooked, Archivo Extinto host Kevin begins to taunt the entity to show itself. What happens next is downright chilling. No tengo miedo absoluto. Te pido que te manifiestes. 
No seas mamón, güey. I heard something, but I didn't see anything. Acá, 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 acá. Fue acá abajo como... Acá abajo, güey. Wey. No mames. Alguien corrió, güey. There's something behind that cross? ¿Escuchaste? No mames. Dime qué es lo que quieres, niño. I thought I saw something. Vete a la chingada. I heard it. Qué chingados. Leave. Cameraman Fabio has now had enough and just wants to get out of there. As they are heading towards the graveyard's exit, Kevin reflects on what they have experienced at the creepy cemetery. Fabio pans the camera around one last time and captures something truly terrifying. Un cementerio, un cementerio lleno de, de actividad. I'm trying to see if I can see it first go. Repleto de manifestaciones paranormales. Muchas energías. Mucha energía vagando por todas las tumbas. Por todo el sitio. Oh, I saw de jugar. it. I saw it. I saw it, but there's no it? way he didn't see it. As Fabio pans his camera around to get a quick shot of the cemetery around them, something seems to be standing right behind them. How the did he not that see they that? They didn't even notice it at the time. I don't but know. But a dark man. figure seems to be following them as they are leaving the cemetery grounds. YouTube and Facebook viewers believe that it could be the apparition of one of the children buried in the cemetery. But what do you think? You can check out this full video and more creepy investigations over on Kevin and Fabio's YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Does seeing shit like that make you guys believe in it more? Like, does it make you guys be like, oh, like something's on the camera and like they didn't see, they said they didn't see it. So like, it's gotta be real. Like, is that like how, how some people are? Cause I don't know. I just think about this shit way too much. Cause I, like I said, I like scary shit. So I'm always like just finding shit to watch or, or, or learn about. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like most of most things on the internet are hoaxed. Very well done. And like I said, who has time for all that? But hey, it's good content. So I fucks with it. But I don't know. I feel like some may be real, some may be fake, but like you'll just never really know which ones are the real ones. Oh. High school haunt. After a devastating fire destroyed most of the town of Goldfield, Nevada in 1923, the Goldfield High School was one of only two remaining large historical buildings in town. The high school was built in 1907, and although at first it was only a high school, eventually it was used to teach children of all ages. It is said that when the school was in operation, the children were often cruelly punished by the school's somewhat sadistic principal. Even darker, a student allegedly passed away from carbon monoxide inhalation in the building's coal room. Oh, wow. Goldfield High School was closed in 1953 due to a cracked and weakening foundation. It has remained empty and abandoned for almost 70 years. Locals claim that the building is extremely haunted by both the spirits of the departed principal and her former students. Ghost hunters Tony, Desmond, Caden, Jossum, and Eric from the YouTube channel Ogden Paranormal spend the night at the creepy abandoned school in hopes of capturing evidence of paranormal activity. Soon after they begin to set up their equipment, team member Eric, who is near the former principal's office, begins to feel very ill. What's going on, bro? I feel like I just got socked in my stomach. I feel so nauseous now. It's like you got socked in your stomach? Yeah. I was just following Keaton, trying to figure out where to put this Yeah, weird. I was walking this way, he was behind me, and then he just like, mm -hmm. he was just like, whoa. Uh, okay. I think he said whoa or something like that, and it was just kind of like, almost like he was gonna like stumble, and he just pretty much just sat down. You good, E? I think I need, I need some air, dude. Yeah, let's get you outside, bro. Outside. I feel so sick right now. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Like I said, don't feel like I guess you... it could be worse, right? It could I... be worse, and here's the other thing is, like, you're in charge here. It's not, you know, it's their building and stuff, but... person, dude, and I feel like crying right now. Now, Eric is a diehard skeptic when it comes to the paranormal, but after this experience, he is reluctant to join the others as they head back upstairs. 
It seems that the Ogden Paranormal team is beginning to provoke some strange, unexplained activity in the abandoned high school. The team splits up and only Tony, Jossum, and Caden remain on the third floor. They try to taunt what they believe could be the spirit of the school's former principal. That's when things get truly bizarre. Do you think it's okay to lock them in a closet? What? Because it's not okay. Oh, you heard that? That sounds like a chair. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Just chair music. Yeah. I don't know if I can hear that. The sound of a chair sliding across the floor can be heard, and soon after, an EVP follows that seems to greet them. What makes this incident so strange is that this isn't the only time they hear the mysterious chair. When they are on the second floor, they hear this. Then again later, this. Are you up there? Because there are many chairs scattered around the high school building, the team is unable to find the exact source of the mysterious sound. But meanwhile, team members Desmond and Eric are investigating one of the high school's classrooms. Desmond asks the spirits of former students a few confrontational questions about the school's cruel principal. Just then, one of their static cameras in the next room catches something very strange. Has she hit you? If she was to do that nowadays, she would go to jail. Right as Desmond says that, our static camera right outside the classroom catches some sort of shadow or mist near the toy trigger objects. Oh, wow, I saw that. It's pretty faint, but if you look near the bottom half of the screen, you'll see a mist-like anomaly go from right to left towards the piano. Very fast. We'll play it on a loop so you can more easily see it. So did the Ogden Paranormal team capture a shadow apparition on camera? Are former students or maybe even the malicious principal still haunting the school hallways? Let me know what you think. You can check out this full investigation as well as many more creepy ghost hunts over on the YouTube channel, Ogden Paranormal, Paranormal Investigations. Thanks for watching for channel updates and other random stuff. Please All follow right. me on Instagram. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. I don't know how I felt about most of them. Some of them I was like, okay, I can kind of believe it. I can see it. Some of them I was like, mm, it could most definitely be fake. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the reaction, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. They wanna fall, what? Back when I was down bad, was stuck in the mud. That nigga didn't clean up Louis V on the so-so, what?